When you think of cool things in GTA Online, a lot of the items that you're thinking of are things that you have to buy, like cars, planes, yachts, all of that stuff. But the rarest items in GTA Online are ones that you can't buy. So today, we're gonna go over all of the rarest items in GTA Online and how to get them. That is, if you still can, because a lot of these items you just can't get anymore, and that's what makes them so rare. So to start off, we've got the alien tattoo. Now to unlock it, you you need to do the secret easter egg resupply mission for your bunker. So if you want to try and get it, here's a simple guide of how to do it. First, complete 600 resupply missions for your bunker. Yes, that's right, 600. Then start up a resupply mission from your bunker between 9pm and 11pm and hope that you get the rare alien egg mission. Then go to your nightclub and drink a Macbeth whiskey shot between 1am and 4am while it's raining, snowing or storming. And then if you're lucky, you'll wake up on on top of Mount Chiliad with the alien tattoo. Sounds pretty simple. I'll see you back here in about a year once you've finished it. Next is the Rockstar Verified T-shirt. To get this one, you need to get a custom job verified by Rockstar. Now that seems kind of difficult, but what makes it even more difficult is only 53 jobs have ever been verified. So good luck. Comment down below if you have this next one. It's the asshole t-shirt. To unlock this one, you had to give yourself 100% of the cut from one of the original heists back when it launched. And you're probably wondering how to do that because you've never been able to do that. Yeah, that's because Rockstar actually removed the ability to give yourself 100% of the cut only about two weeks after the heist came out back in 2015. So there's probably only a few hundred, maybe a few thousand players that actually have this. If you're one of them, let me know. But what about the handful of live stream t-shirts? Shirts like the hot serial killer stepmom shirt, the cannibal clown, meat hook for mommy, or the Rockstar crosswalk tee. To get these, you had to watch a Rockstar hosted live stream back on Twitch and you had to get them through Twitch drops. And Rockstar doesn't really do these anymore. I don't think they've done one of these in probably close to eight years. So there's a pretty good chance you'll never be able to unlock them again. If you really like the LS car meet, you might want to try and get this one, but you'd be one of the very few people that has it, and that's the Tuned for Speed racing suit. To get this one, you need to get rank 1000 in the LS car meet. That will take you a very, very long time, but if you want to give it a go, you will get a pretty cool reward. Next is the Lost Slam Van. Now, you've probably seen this car in a lot of missions. Chances are you've actually seen it hundreds of times but there's only actually one way to get it legit, and that's through the casino wheel. So first, you need to land on the mystery item, which is a 1 in 20 chance, or in other words, 5%. Then there's a 14.3% chance that that mystery item is going to be a vehicle, but there's over 100 different vehicles that you can win from the mystery item, so you've got a 0.72% chance of getting the slam van then, which means that each time you spin the wheel, in total, you have a 0.005% chance of getting the slam van or in other words one in 20,000 I personally have never seen anyone with this car but if you have it again let me know in the comments below because you have a very rare item next is the please stop me mask to get this one you had to complete a last team standing event during a weekend that weekend was October 3rd through October 5 way back in 2014 most people who play GTA online now weren't even playing it back then so I doubt many people have this. But what about these three Rockstar t-shirts? These ones are pretty cool. They should be pretty easy to get, right? Yeah, all you have to do to get these ones is be a Rockstar developer. So if you've ever seen anyone rocking these in one of your lobbies, that's a Rockstar dev. If you want to try and get one of these, hey, look, you can try and apply at Rockstar. I'm sure they've got jobs available. Probably going to be a pretty hard item to get, though. You're going to need to, you know, go to university or college, get your degree, and then hope you get a job at Rockstar Games. Next is the Kiflom t-shirt. To get it, this one's just a random chance when you drink a Macbeth whiskey shot at your nightclub. You know you've got it when you randomly spawn on like a random rooftop and you'll be wearing the shirt. Next is the High Flyer Parachute Bag. To get it, you need to have completed flight school way back in 2014 between August 22 and 24. That was actually the first weekend after flight school came to GTA Online, so maybe some expert pilots out there have this one. This next item is pretty expensive. It's the Liberty City Penitentiary Outfit. Definitely one of the cooler outfits in the entire game, but it is pretty rare. So in order to have this outfit, you needed to buy the GTA 
Trilogy Definitive Edition in the first two weeks, which was between November 11, 2021 and November 25. And then you also needed to log into GTA Online within those two weeks as well. So this is essentially a $60 outfit because to get it, you needed to own the GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition, which if you check the review scores for those games, well, weren't very good. Not only that, but Rockstar actually had to remove these games from the stores during the first week because they were unplayable. There's a lot of rare items in the claw machine game that you can have inside your arcade, one of which is the Princess Robot Bubblegum T-shirt. To get it, unsurprisingly, you need to pick up the Princess Robot in the claw machine. And if you're wondering how long that's going to take you, well, the chances of actually picking her up are under 1%. So anyone trying to get this, you can expect to be sitting on this claw machine for at least a couple of hours. But speaking of plushies, what if you actually wanted to get all of the plushies? What are the odds of that? Well, no one's really done the testing on this, which maybe makes these even more rare because it is so rare that people haven't even bothered to test it. But apparently all of the plushies have about a 1% chance pickup rate. That is, except for the shiny wasabi one. Apparently this has a 0.5% chance of being able to pick it up if you successfully land over it, which means you are gonna be sitting here for hours trying to get it. If you do get it though, the little plushie is gonna spawn inside your arcade, so that's a pretty cool little trophy to show off. Is it worth the time investment? Well, that's going to be up to you. Next are some really rare variations of the special beer hats. You can see these on your screen now. So things like the Super Wet Beer Hat, the Piss Wasser, the Benedict Beer Hat, Patriot Beer Hat, Jay's Lager Beer Hat, and the Blarney's Beer Hat. And these were part of the Independence Day update way back in 2014. To get them, you had to find them in the special crate events that spawn around the map, and they only actually spawned from July 1st to August 1st, way back in 2014. Comment down below if you have these next ones. This is for my special cargo grinders. With the special cargo business, the game actually tracks how many special cargo source missions you've actually done. If you've done 50 missions, you'll get a plastic trophy in your CEO office. If you've done 100, you'll have a glass one. 250 missions, you'll have a bronze one. If you've done 500, you'll get a silver. But the most rare is if you've done 1,000 buy special cargo missions, and that trophy is going to be gold. Next is $10 million. Now, you're probably thinking, why is $10 million so rare? Well, it's not $10 million itself, but it's getting $10 million a particular way. And that's by completing the Criminal Mastermind Challenge. If you don't know what the Criminal Mastermind Challenge is, you have to complete all five of the original heists in order with the same group of four people without anyone dying in any of the missions along the way. Not even once. Only then will you complete the Criminal Mastermind Challenge and get an extra $10 million for your efforts. And speaking of the original heists, another extremely rare item is the Armored Karuma. And again, just like the $10 million, it's not the Karuma itself, but it's how you unlock this one. And that's the Armored Karuma you unlock for completing the Tier 4 career progress challenge for the original heists. Not only do you need to unlock all of the platinum awards, but you also need to get $50 million from the original heists. Now keep in mind that the Pacific Standard, which is the highest paying one out of all of these heists, even on hard mode, only pays out $1.875 million, and that needs to be split between four people. So in all likelihood, you're going to need to complete the Pacific Standard at least 100 times just to unlock this Armored Karuma. Yeah, no thank you, I would much rather just buy it for about $600,000. Maybe the most rare vehicle in the entire game, even more rare than the Lost Slam Van, is the Rusted Tractor. If you've seen my Rare Cars video, you know this one is really hard to get. To get it, you need to get level 1000 in Arena Wars. Yes, 1000. People over on Reddit did the math and found out that you would have to do about 48,000 matches of Arena Wars just to get level 1000. I don't know about you, but that is probably a few two games too many for me. Next, we have Placeable Fireworks. Works. Now, if you're an OG player, you would remember these, and I really mean OG, like before 2014, because these were actually removed from the game about a decade ago. These were introduced for the Independence Day update, and as you would guess, it's just a firework that you put on the ground, but there's no way to get them anymore, and there hasn't been for 10 years, so if you've still got one in your inventory, consider yourself lucky and probably don't place it down because you are holding on to an extremely rare item. This 
next one's for all of the heisters out there. It's the can't touch this shirt. Pretty straightforward process to get it. All you have to do is take no damage at all during a heist finale. But anyone who's played a heist finale knows that's easier said than done. Next is the racing blonde tattoo. To get this one, you need to be a really good racer because you need to set a world record in any Rockstar created race. If you've ever looked at the world records for a lot of these races, you would know people have just cheated or used mods to get like a one second lap time. So getting this is going to be a lot easier said than done. Next is the unicorn mask. Everyone got this for free for logging in on Christmas Day way back in 2016, but most of us weren't playing back then. So if you want to get it nowadays, you need to get extremely lucky spinning the casino wheel because this is one of the most rare items you can get if you land on clothing. We all love the panther statue in the Kaya Barigo heist, but what's even more rare than getting the panther statue itself is getting the Kaya Barigo panther tour jacket. To get this, you had to take part in the Kaya Barigo heist challenge between December 15th and December 20 back in 2020. You had to complete a full Kaya Barigo heist and then you needed to log back in before January 14 to claim the jacket. We've all seen festive tints on different cars in the game, but what about on the up and atom to get the festive tint for this one, you had to complete a business battle between December 21 and December 31 way back in 2018, but that's not all. If you wanted to keep it, you actually did have to go and purchase or equip it, which a lot of players didn't do, and even though they completed the challenge, they didn't actually ever go and equip it, which means they just lost it forever. Most of us have put tire smoke on one of our cards in the game at least, but most players have never put on the Patriot tire smoke. This was only a available for a few years, and it was only available for one week at a time during Independence Day for the first three years of the game being out. Rockstar hasn't included this in a long time, mainly because this was actually causing a lot of bugs for some reason, so yeah, Rockstar just decided to never put it in again. So there you go, those are the rarest items in GTA Online and how to get them. Let me know if you're gonna go try and get any of these now. If you are, you have a long grind ahead of you, but it may be worth it. If you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up, consider subscribing for more stuff like this. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!